welcome to my messy cabin. <laughs> um, it's a really cold, dreary day outside at the moment. It's just, it's like that damp cold. It just, yeah, it's just the rain's coming down now. Excuse my lawn, we haven't been able to mow it at all because it's very boggy around here. Um, so we just sink if we would uh, mow the lawn. Um, got my new my new lamps working so this it's a new to me lamp it was my cousin's and it's one I've been after for ages so it's got a nice warm light on oh well warm bulb anyway I don't know if you can see it so yeah I just love the color of it anyway okay so I will pop you back on the tripod in a moment but I just want to show you what we're going to be doing today right so I have an absolute huge stack of this paper it's like a lining paper from printers um ideally i would have a tray but because i'm not bothered about the about getting paint and in fact i'm encouraging getting paint on this table to give it character i'm not bothered about getting inks and paints on in there so that's why i don't really need a tray so um we have the pinata is it jacquard what are they called yeah Jacquard alcohol inks and I handpicked these colours because what we're going to be doing today let me put, put you on the tripod one second right just oh my desk is so messy my goodness right <laughs> so much mess okay let me sort this out right yeah you'll be right like that Okay, so in here we have plain or it's like off-white sari ribbon and I, I've i seen this um, being done before and as I use this on my journals, my fabric journals, I thought it would be a great idea to do this technique so that I can use this in my mixed media, but particularly with my wonder journal in mind. So I will show you what or how I will use this once it's finished. What I'm gonna be doing is try to, cause like I'm gonna get alcohol ink on here. I can reuse this afterwards, so it's absolutely fine. I'm gonna take the yarn and I'm not sure, I won't use all of it. I'm gonna use half of it. So we'll get, let's see, it's just knotted here. Um, yeah, so anyway, I handpicked the colours. There were so many to choose from. My um, local, this, this leg here, that's bothering me. Hang on a sec. So my local um, art shop has just got them in and they're stocking more and more mixed media products. Hang on, I'm gonna back in one second. All right, I swapped my camera, the angle round, so that's better. Right, okay, yeah, so my art shop's now supplying more mixed media products. I'm really excited about that, hence why they've got these alcohol links in. Um, and I believe they're gonna be getting things like jelly plates and all that sort of thing. So yeah, really, really excited about it. All right, let's see if I can do this without making it, this isn't even the messy part. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Such a gorgeous colour. You can see like the sheen on it. Okay, so we will get the length that we need. Yeah, that'll do. That sort of length, maybe. It can't go as wide as this paper. So if we do. Where's the end gone? So I'm going to fast forward this bit. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, so this is the nerve-wracking bit. Okay, right, what we're gonna do, I'm not even wearing any gloves or anything. Make sure you're all in shot. I can't zoom out anymore at all. So I'll try my best to get this in, all in. Right, so what I wanna do, um, just mark the page where, there you go. I'm actually really loving this light bulb here because it's adding warmth to the, yeah, to the video. Right, okay, so what you wanna do, and I haven't done this like, not with alcohol inks, 
So this is really nerve wracking. I'm getting a bottle of water and I need to wet the ribbon first. This is gonna help the ink spread. And in fact, I've put in this water some essential oil and it smells really, really lovely. Okay, so what colors, where have we got? Hang on, I'm missing one, there it is. I need to figure out which order I'm gonna go in. So I think I'll go from, so we've got teal there. I would like the pink next to the teal. Got the yellow and the green. Hmm. Could do coral there. Yeah, so let's do first, right, okay, so yellow, I've got golden yellow, well, I'm starting with lime green, golden yellow, coral, pink, and teal. And I haven't used, I've only used a couple of these, so I'm not really sure what, how they're gonna turn out at all. Now, normally you would use a spray, spray ink on these. Um, so I'm really, I need as much, uh, plenty of water so it spreads. Um, just drop. Maybe actually if I just do that. It would be better if I could spray it. And then golden yellow. gonna take the paper just now so I don't want it to you will obviously get you might get some muddy colors. This is purely an experiment for me. Um, so we're gonna go for coral next. Oh, I love this color, it's so beautiful. And then we're gonna go for pink. Oh my God, oh God, look at the pink, it's gorgeous. Oh, love it. I'm gonna hear my heat going off in a minute. Well, it's going off now. This pink, wow. Oh my days, it's gorgeous. And teal. All right. God, that pink's amazing. So nice. I might, it would be really good if I had, um, if I could put these in spray bottles because and mix it, maybe dilute some of it because the colors really strong. gloves. <laughs> uh, let's get some more of this yellow. Golden yellow. Um, more coral. this pink again. That pink's amazing. It really is. Um, should we add some more? Let's see. I really like that golden yellow next to the 
Alright, let's add some, just add the teal. And then what, we've got two of every colour then, haven't we? Ideally, I need gloves, but I haven't really, apart from my washing up ones, I haven't really got any. So let's see how this turns out. Um, see if I get, hang on one second. Oh, So that green's a bit blotchy, so this is what you're supposed to really use on this. Um, and that's the spray, so you get a good coverage. Oh no, it's doing that funny thing again where it doesn't like spraying. Oh. Oh yeah, I really like this colour. But why won't you spray? You're gonna need a pin, aren't you? Right, one sec, let's see. Away from my eyes. <laughs> it's all come out. I'm making such a mess. Wow, like literally, I took that out and it just went right across. That's okay. Oh, wow, there you go. Good coverage. That's what I need. I need to make, mix some of these alcohol inks with um, some water into a bottle. Um, cherry pie should we spray a little bit with that coral see what's like and it's really red yeah let's just do it um, what else have we got i've got that yellow oh i've got yellow there's <laughs> hardly any yellow here in this bit um teal could have some blue um, let's see. My juice, that's the same. Vibrant turquoise, what's peacock feathers like? I really like that. That's well nice. I like getting other colours on it, but. Purple, that's so nice. Wow, we have such colourful paper. That'll do, that will do. And then you're supposed to wait a little while for it to dry out a bit. Um, so, what I might do is okay, let's just wipe. Let's get this in, mix it all in a bit. That pink's so nice. Right, <laughs> look at that. Um, let's take this off. What I'll do is I'm going to get some fresh paper, yep, put it to one side on the floor and let this air out and dry for a little bit. It's very, very bright, but it won't stay that bright. And then I have this really nice paper now. <laughs> um, let's see if I can... Some of this ink up. That's going to cause mud in it. I've got no more tissue left. Right, okay, so I'm going to leave that to one side as well. 
and then we'll get started on um, a journal spread just now. Then I'll show you that, that ribbon later. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try not to get this all over my um, journal. But I thought that I would do today, because um, I really, really wanna start journaling in here. But I love to do some, um, what do you call it? Hang on, I'm not sure. Zoom in a bit. I really wanna do some abstract pieces in here. I just love how thick it is, so, so thick. All these pages. Um, so what I will do is I'm gonna try and do a little bit of abstract. I was going to use acrylics, but I'm thinking now I might just use gouache. Um, so let me just see what I've got here. Really in the mood for pinks and purples. I don't know what it is at the minute, just like I love, I mean, I've always loved that pink, but I don't know, pinks, lilacs, especially lilacs. Um, uh, let's see, and I really, really love as well, like I love getting this out. This is not what I was gonna say, but I'm gonna show you anyway. Um, oh my goodness, you should see my floor. Um, where's it gone? I got my swatch book, wherever that is. Hang on a second, let me just pause you. Yeah, so ever since I swatched those colours, then you know, the gouache Arteza ones, and Arteza in general, I found that they've dried really, really bright, or better than what they were when they when I first put them down. And the colours just, they've come out, look, so vibrant. I don't know if it's picking it up or not. But I really, really love how these have turned out. It's really weird because it doesn't look like 60 here, but it feels like it, it's not as many. But when you get the box, there's so many in there. Um, I really love lime green. So I love getting my swatches out. And before I do a abstract, I'll, um, if I'm not like dead set on any color, particular colors that I wanna use, because sometimes my mood will, um, you know will dictate straight away what colors I use but when I have quite a few in mind um, I'll turn to my swatches um, pick out a couple that I really like see I really like the some of these are really really pearlescent can you see that? I don't know you see that that bronze really nice the pearl scarlet that's a very very slight iridescent to it that pearl white is really nice See that there? Love that. Um, so yeah, I really love keeping a swatch book so that I can go through and see what colours to use. And I really love how bright these watercolours are. These are the, so this is the 36 palette and these are the tubes. Again, that lime green and that saffron's lovely. Um, oh, the pencils, oh, peony. Love that. Okay. So yeah, I think I'll just get started. I might speed up the process because um, it takes me a while to sort of like get inspired. But I just like to switch off as I'm painting. Um, so yeah, I'll just make a start just now anyway and speed it up and then may pause it every now and then to, to talk to you. <laughs> using one of Betty Hathaway's uh, brushes and you'll obviously see I don't know if you like if you're unaware or um, new to watercolor brushes but um, some of the brushes have these very very lovely pointy tip I mean some brushes in general you know in, in brands um, but they're quite pricey um, so like normally I would use a round now this is a round, these are both rounds, but this has a fine tip to it. If I was to use this one, um, it would obviously give more of a softer edged finish. 
but as you can see on this here when I take it's take this off the page it's leaving quite sharp defined edges uh, which is absolutely brilliant um, especially if you want to do uh, like brush lettering but if you're looking for um, softer rounder edges then you actually need to use something more like this that isn't as pointy um, this brush it's like it's not an expensive one it's inexpensive it's from um, the range and uh, yeah in the UK there's a shop called the range it's absolutely fantastic it's got loads of craft supplies in there it's not a Michaels <laughs> but it's it's something it's the best that we have really um, unless like you find some kind of independent art shop um, that sells all sort of like other better <laughs> you know um, art supplies so um, let's see so yeah what I'm doing here I'm just literally adding um, just sort of like a first sort of darker layer first and then I'll build sort of on this um, I'm adding a little I can't remember the name of the colors I really should write them down I think let's have a look hang on I know that I was using just used a bit of moon glow um, that first layer is oh god I'm making such a mess indigo which I love really want to get some more Daniel Smith colours because they're so so strong <laughs> the tiniest bit just goes so far <laughs> right so um yeah let's see so I'm just really drawn to these lilacs at the minute and mauve and soft pinks as well <laughs> Some of them are so strong. I mean, the soft ones are very soft. The strong ones are very, so very strong. Um, yeah, highly, highly, highly recommend these. And as always, they'll, they'll be linked below uh, my video. <laughs> of abstract you might with a layer and this is exactly what you you know you're working on um, you're working on layers upon layer upon layer until you're satisfied um, and some of the layers if you find that they're too light and you want to add some depth um, you can add like obviously a darker color but if it's with watercolors you might want to obviously you have to dry it first you might want to add some um, some fluid acrylic some gouache um, straight from the tube without mixing it with water um, or you if you want to make it lighter you obviously add um, white but you would use a white that would um, that is able to cover that has good coverage so I um, use some acrylic because uh, I knew that I would get a good coverage but then you literally have fun with it switch off don't be like oh this isn't working because it's something that you are it's when you feel that it, you don't feel when, when it's not agreeing with you it's because it's not finished yet and you're adding layer upon layer upon layer until you're happy so just keep working it so now for me i feel i do feel like i need to even go darker and add some more 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 depth um, before i go in with pens and pencils and whatever or watercolors um so yeah so i'm gonna add 
I'm gonna go for something dark. So I'm just gonna dry this first.
I'm not going to mess with that Eve like much more, but I don't know if you can see, there are so many layers. <laughs> um, there is layer upon layer upon layer. And it is such a therapeutic thing to do. Now, um, I do need to find I have somewhere a stencil so I can... Oh, I'm, I'm so happy with how it's turned out. I really am. I love all the layers. Um, I don't know if you can actually see it in person, but there's so much detail in it because, you know, when you add layer upon layer, and like I was saying earlier, you get to the point where it's like, oh, I think I've messed it up. You you often get that when you're messing about with different colours and different layers and you're sort of really going for it. But honestly, you know, keep pushing it, keep going for it. If it's so black or dark or you know like you think i'm not going to get any color on there just dry it add some white or if it's you know vice versa if it's too light you can add um start adding more color you know either way you just keep experimenting and playing don't ever give up on a page don't ever rip a page out just keep pushing it keep going for it i'm so happy with how this has turned out i can't wait um it's just like it, it is a piece of art it is like my journal page now when i journal on here um it has this beautiful piece um of art on here and i love how this this lime green lime green really i just love it cause it just pops alongside the different pinks and lilacs in here and this like abstract abstract sort of flower so now i want to decide where so i could add the number up here actually can't i yeah sort of balance it out oh, what, where are we now what date am i on um yeah, so I'll do this for 18. Let me get my my pen, which one am I using? Um, I really need to tidy up my space because I, I need a better place for all my, uh, my gouache colours because I just, in fact, I might put them in little bags or something. I don't know yet, we'll see thinking out loud where are you pen i used it before yeah the these betty halfway hayway sorry i don't know why i want to keep saying halfway oh there's my pen thinking of Anne, aren't I? anyway okay so yeah they're absolutely gorgeous um highly highly recommend these so when you are using you need precise movement because obviously watercolor is a hard uh, medium to control you can get good control on these with these brushes because of the tip on them just look after them make sure you don't leave them in water so let's just right i'm going to quickly do this so we've got I don't like it too precise. Uh, that's, I don't know why that happens with that one. I try and take it off really carefully. I think uh, that's okay because I can um I can save it. Not a problem. Stop it. Right. Dry that off. find I don't know why I don't know if it's just me but I have all the colors and all the colors all the mates in the world in white pens and they just to me they never really seem to work very well just fill that up best I can It's just making grey. That's fine. That doesn't matter at all. That goes on that one. That goes there. Then what I'm going to do is find my sharpest pen, pencil. Do this. Salvage my 
This has been such a therapeutic day, I've really really enjoyed it and I'm really hoping now because I've taken my time that the video won't take long editing for you because I've got so much content that I really want to do. I feel like I need to maybe add to sort of like Oh no, pen, don't do this to me now. Doesn't like some mediums. This really is a pen to write with, not really to go over with. Um... Sorry, pen. I know I shouldn't use you on acrylics. Use this one. Because it's such a fine nib, it clogs easily, that's why. It goes on um, thingamajiggy, well that's actually not dried very well but it does go on gouache better than it goes on acrylic. Um, I shouldn't try and be too precise with it. Yeah. Don't hold back, just be as messy as you can, it's really really freeing. Um, that'll do. <laughs> I've got to start, otherwise this video is never going to go out. So yeah, I'm going to journal on here next. I might add just a blob of... Can you imagine how nice it's going to look journaled on? And then I'll probably add a blob of colour on here. But yeah, I wanted to try... I wanted to see if this would happen with the alcohol inks. Tiniest bit on a paintbrush I added onto this page just to see. And it does. It goes straight through. You don't even need much at all. So that's, that's fine though because I'm going to... Do a little blob of colour on there anyway so oh, love it oh can you imagine the whole book filled with these it would just look so good i'm so pleased with it mm, i just love it it just goes really well with the theme in fact now that looks too plain i feel like i need to add some scribbles on there you know it just has depth to it oh so happy with how that's turned out right now before we go i'm going to show you right so you remember in the previous video, I showed you the sari ribbon that I was going to attach to this, which I haven't done yet. I need to. The thinking behind that ribbon that I've just dyed um, is to use it on journals like that. So, hang on, let's just take this, give it a little blast with the heat gun. Oh, the fumes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to speed up this process because it's going to take a while. But what you have to do is you have to uh, scrunch this in the paper. So let me just take this sheet here. far from it it does need to dry and in fact I could I, right so there's a few things I want to try next okay um, now that I can see how the colors have turned out I want to try and uh, like so for instance you see where I've put the alcohol ink ideally you need to spray it but I like the with this one I like how you've got like I was I'd say tie-dye effect but look at that look how those purples have come out there like that um, yeah, I love the sort of marks on there, so it adds sort of a, an element of interest. Um, so when you are using this, it will 
still look really good. So I need to dry it. So what I want to try is, right, one. I want to wash this and see how much of the alcohol ink comes out. And then I want to dry it because I want to see how soft I can get it, soft I can get the colours. So soft colours. Um, and then I want to do some, try out some of the, get, sorry, bleh, get the sari ribbon, the plain one, and just try a couple of colours that I really love. So I really want to try that, uh, that, that pink. I thought I'd use loads then. Uh, yeah, I want to try this pink with, uh, I actually like, so when you do an experiment like this, you examine it and then you decide, you think, oh, well, I don't like that color. That one muddies too much and I need to spray it and all this sort of thing. So you go, you know, this is the learning process. So what I want to do is I actually want to combine this pink, combine the pink, um, alcohol ink with that, where is it? Um, which one did I use? Did I use that one or, come on, let me have a blue paper. I used that peacock, didn't I? I know I used a peacock, I didn't know if I used a blue or not, so with that one. And then, what colour does this come out of? Oh god, that's really, really dark. I oh know, I like it, I like it, I like it. Let's see what this looks like. Hmm. I'm gonna use that one actually. So yeah, because that's more blue. So we'll use that pink with the, what's that one? Brilliant turquoise. Turquoise. I can't think, I'm in such a rush turquoise spray sorry <laughs> uh, my writing's really scribbly at the minute um while i rush so i want to combine those two and then so i really like how that you've got that purple there so i want to see how that comes out and then maybe i really like the coral as well but i really wanted to get a, that lime green um so yeah i'm going to try those two together and then maybe do some other separate look look at these colors that are coming out here so yeah and then i want to three i want to put the ink sprays into i've never done this before so this is exactly this is what your this is what experimenting is all about so i want to put the ink sprays into see those little um these these are in like a pack of four or whatever from Poundland. Or whatever. They're really in, they're really inexpensive. So if I add a little tiny bit of water in there with the ink, so ink sprays into bottle uh, with water. See how that comes out. So that's my plan. Um, I'll leave those there. And then also I'll have this beautiful, look how gorgeous this paper is. <laughs> this beautiful paper that I can use in my journals or in my um, my collage spreads and stuff. But look at this, hang on. You've got this one that's from scrunching up fabric. So you've got that, this won't be wasted. And then, oh, no, blimey, there's the wet ink on there. And then this here, let me just get some tissue. I really need to buy some more tissue, I've run out. I was gonna get some at the shop today when I posted the patrons, um, top tier patron art workout. But I forgot. Right, wait for that to dry. How nice is that? Look at that pink. Oh, my favorite, favorite, favorite. <laughs> and that coral's really nice, because it's not like a red, it's like a pinky red. Uh, it's not how I expected it to be actually, but yeah, nice. So, um, right, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna edit this video for you. Um, and then in the next video, I'm hoping to show you what I, how I use these, um, how they've come out. Wonder Planner, that's another thing. I don't know if I said Wonder Journal before or not, but yeah, Wonder Planner, I wanna show you um, how I'm getting on with that, how that's been set up, how I've, um, 
yeah, basically how I'm using that. Um, what next? And then obviously more journal spreads as well. I'll show you when I've journaled in here. I'm so pleased with that. Yeah, I'm well happy with it. So, right, okay, I'm gonna go, go and edit this video. And um, yeah, and I have, oh God, I have all this content that I wanna share with you, but it's like creative overload. I just wanna create it all in one go, but obviously I have to make all the journals for the shop and everything. So um, yeah, right, I'm gonna edit. And uh, until next time, take care. Bye.